Welcome to Protagonist and Antagonist. The protagonist is frequently known as the hero of the story, while the antagonist is the villain. The protagonist and the antagonist tend to be in conflict with one another. The protagonist is the central character in a story. This character is often referred to as the hero of the story. In many cases, the story is told from this character's point of view so that the reader knows how the protagonist thinks and feels. The antagonist is the opposing force or character who leads the conflict against the protagonist. The antagonist works to offset whatever the protagonist does that is good. Often, the antagonist attempts to disguise himself or herself, which usually builds suspense in a story. The antagonist does not have to be human. Instead, it can be a force of nature, such as a hurricane or tornado, or even a complex problem or idea, such as poverty or oppression. The protagonist and antagonist are often complete opposites of one another. However, they can both be complex characters. There are many classic examples of heroes and villains that fill these roles in fairy tales. For example, in Cinderella, the evil stepmother and stepsisters are very cruel to Cinderella. Cinderella is the protagonist, while the stepmother and stepsisters are antagonists. In Hansel and Gretel, there is a witch who resides in a home made of gingerbread and candies. She uses the sweets to lure Hansel and Gretel into her home so that she can eat the children. Hansel and Gretel are the protagonists, and the witch is the antagonist. In The Wizard of Oz, the Wicked Witch of the West is constantly causing conflict for the main character Dorothy. Dorothy is the protagonist of the tale, and the witch is the antagonist. In Jack and the Beanstalk, a young boy named Jack climbs a magic beanstalk into the sky and meets an angry giant. Jack is the protagonist while the giant is the antagonist. Take a moment to read this section from a story and try to identify a protagonist and an antagonist. Keep in mind the traits of each character. Molly had been up all night practicing words for the spelling bee. She was still so nervous, even though she knew she was well prepared. When she bumped into Lindsay, however, she felt her stomach sink. Oh, look, Lindsay said. There goes the worst speller in the whole school. Lindsay pushed past Molly and continued down the hall. See you after school, loser, Lindsay said. Molly frowned, but went right back to practicing. Who is the protagonist and who is the antagonist? In this paragraph, Molly is the protagonist. This section features her point of view as the reader hears how she was up late and that she was nervous. It is also clear that she is the focus of the passage. The antagonist, therefore, is Lindsay. She is the opposing force to Molly and is clearly working to offset her. Just seeing Lindsay makes Molly's stomach sink. It is also clear that Lindsay is Molly's rival as both are competing in the spelling bee. In review, when trying to identify the protagonist and antagonist in a story, think about which character is central to the plot. Who is the central character in the story? This is the protagonist. The character or force that is acting against this central character is the antagonist. The antagonist is the opposing force or character who leads the conflict against the protagonist. In most cases, the good character is the protagonist and the bad character is the antagonist. Thank you for participating in Protagonist and Antagonist. <laughs>